Hello everybody, welcome to part two of the Marvel vs. Collectors album and we're going to see for all the packs that I opened how did I do with completing the set. We're going to go over some stats, some info and also I'm going to be producing some of my favourite pieces of artwork from this collection so far. First of all, though something that's fantastic about the album, it does have a little insert at the back that showcases all of the numbers and the respective characters artwork that is going to appear right there there's also information on the second page as to some of the rarer cards those will be these here the shinies uh, that's important as well to note some of the face cards and also on the back page there is a little a uh, bit of inf there's another piece of art by the way of like uh, of phoenix that's really really nice uh, but also on this side right at the bottom it does say if you're missing any uh, cards you can go and get them now i don't know if this is available in the us i'm not 100 percent sure or other countries but obviously this is a uk based uh, uh thing currently but yes now to the burning question did i indeed get a good chunk of the set let's face it, i'm not going to get all 175 but how many did i actually get well let's zoom this all in just so it doesn't look completely weird that you might feel like you're upside down. So we should be within this kind of zoomed into this section or sector. Uh, and yeah, of this particular set, as my notes kind of like tell me right here, is that I have got 148 of 175. These are all the numbers I am missing currently. And I need 27. To be honest, I don't think this has been that bad. This has been a very successful opening, to say the least. Just a little cut into the video. I just want to like make this a little bit kind of clear. One thing that's really good about Marvel Versus as a trading card game is that, again, to kind of go over that thing about, 148 I got out of 175. Do bear in mind, results may vary for other people. But if you look at other trading card games, like Pokemon, for example, if you are spending nearly 50 pounds on Pokemon cards and finding you're not completing the set, but then you look at, you have to spend uh, th maybe 300 plus on a set. This is actually very good value for money if you're looking to collect something. I know it's debatable to say, oh, well it's, you know, pieces of card. But look at it from a collecting standpoint. If you're getting most of the cards, then it's better value than other sets of other different types of trading card games. So I thought that was something very important to kind of mention and go, that's something that's pretty good from Panini's perspective or, you know, very good value for money. I'm not paid to say that, by the way. This is not a sponsor thing. It's just a case of looking at it from an analytical and data perspective. What is that? Just like a small percentage. It only needing 27 is pretty darn good. I would say that I've been quite fortunate there in picking up uh, all of the... Uh, all of the cards that I need to. I do like the fact that they are numbered at the back. It also means with uh, a little sticker set that you get right here, you can get some numberings of the um, of the ones, so like you know, one to nine. So you would just basically take this little um, this little st sticker set right here, and where it's like uh, you know, well, if I could just show into the camera where it says one to nine, because there's nine slots there, you would literally just go like, okay, put a one to nine sticker there at the bottom, and then do the same thing going forward so uh well done to panini for adding in this it's just the little things that make this really good i also like some of the little inserts here that kind of come out these little kind of like pages just to give you some information as to the uh the set which you can see right there um giving you like loads of breakdowns of the characters and also when you get to further things like uh power ratings fighting skills those kinds of things, energy durability so it's nice it adds this extra little detail to the set which i rate and uh, and yeah, like it doesn't go into full detail about the limited edition cards because obviously they're going to be rarer and some great artwork. And there's some great pieces of artwork uh, throughout this entirety of this set. Also, cast your eyes on, well, obviously this side here as we flip through, there's some great characters and great artwork and great numbering. I will pick out a few that I really like, but also show them up to the other camera. Uh, because uh, there's some good ones, there's some average ones. Uh, there's some ones that I just don't like because they're just on too dark of a background of stuff going on. I'll give an example, the Thanos one. It's just, it's just too much darkness there. Uh, and even that style one there, it's just a bit too dark for my liking. The same thing with uh, like Miles Morales. Like I appreciate that you know it's a, it, the suit is very dark, but it's there's there's better ones. And the reason I say there's better ones, there's an, there's a good example. There's the Ultron one, darker background. Winter Soldier, darker background. Doesn't need to be like. It's just the lighter ones, that's, or the little bit lighter ones, seem to have like better kind of notion or kind of brightness. Like, there's a good example, like this Mars Morales one here, which if I bring this out, 
Here's a good example of this is the Miles Morales one I was just referring to because it's like lighter backgrounds with the uniform of the character. It just looks better. You know, the top one looks good. Obviously, Miles is just walking through the city. And then this one where he's in his uh, Spider-Man costume that it just looks better because of the color contrast here are another two that i really like especially because magneto's one it is definitely one of my favorites and the mystique one the more i see it the more i really like it especially because it looks like the, the kind of character is more like a, a real character like a like an actress uh playing like taken from one of the movies uh, like movie versions of, of it so i just think that they, these two are like two favorites of mine and a mutant so it's all good now here we go with three of my favorite action cards this first one is a spider-man one and what's great is they give information of the comic book this is from so this is from a spectacular spider-man 200 and showcases a green goblin fight with uh with spider-man so this looks amazing second action card is this here this is a rogue and uh, Iceman. this is from x-men number one and that's really incredible from 1991 Obviously, this isn't this is taken from that that particular artwork, but it still looks pretty sick. So I'm like, yeah, love this. And finally, you can tell the X Men fan of me because this is the last one, my favorite action card, which is like all the X Men jumping to uh, I don't know what it is. This is taken from X Men One. Like, could be like, oh, we're gonna get into the uh, the Blackbird and get to a certain location. Gambit, I think that's Gambit coming out of his room. Psylocke in the background, and then there's uh, Beast and Wolverine. Obviously, being a big Wolverine and Mutant fan, this is pretty darn cool. So there we go. That was been the Marvel vs. Trading Card Collection, and I must say. I actually really enjoyed myself getting back to kind of trading cards. I may do a follow up to this particular video, especially because I like kind of mixing it up with what I cover on this channel. Whether or not we do trading cards, Pokemon cards, Marvel cards, or do other kind of like uh, trading card games, or you know anything else that might be out there. I'm interested to just mix it up, and it's nice to have a bit of variation. So yeah, lots of really interesting and cool artwork. Obviously, with some of the ones I mentioned, there are some kind of like some bangers, and there's some less than bangers. But you can see there's a whole plethora of different. Uh, different ones to go and get love the shinies within this one and also some of the limited editions the two limited editions are right at the back uh here these uh these two if i can get them into shot there they are um i didn't see any of those in any of the packs but there may be a rare kind of opportunity to get them but in any case that has been marvel versus in any case that has been the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, put in the comment section have you grabbed this yourself i've seen a few channels kind of like uh, open up stuff but i haven't seen it out too much with with people's interest so yeah thoughts in the comment section Bye-bye for now.